Hey, hi everybody. Um, I want to talk to you about something really important to me. I've seen so many people making the same mistake over and over and it's setting themselves up for failure. So with this season coming up, like summer is coming and everybody's like, oh my God, I'm going to show my body in a bikini or in a bathing suit simply or even revealing more of her body. There is a lot of, um, of body acceptance that come up for a lot of people and instead of focusing on that body acceptance for a lot of us, we want to change and improve and, and just wanting to set new goals and go at the gym. So that's what I want to talk to you about because I've seen repeatedly people wanting to go at the gym and then being like really enthusiastic and be like, okay, I'm going to wake up at five and I'm going to do an hour of cardio in the morning and, and I'm going to go at the gym after work. And, and they have these really big goals and expectation to change and uh, create a weight loss or, or transform their body. But sometimes our expectations are not really realistic and then we fail and then we feel even worse than when we started. So that's what I want to talk to you about. So if you are looking at the new season coming up and you're thinking, Oh my God, I need to lose 10 pounds or I need to transform my body so I feel good this summer. I need you to start thinking like, what is it really that I want here? And to set goals that are realistic and that are achievable. So I don't know if you know about SMART goal, but it's like, it's a goal that you can, that can be specific, measurable, realistic attainable and timely so it have to hit all these boxes so if your goal is to lose weight before the summer usually we say a pound a week is realistic and I don't know if you know but a pound a week is 3,500 calories so that's a lot of calories so if you take that in a week out of seven days, it's 500 calories a day. So there's a couple different ways you can do that. You could increase your physical activity by 500 calorie, or you could create a calorie deficit of 500 calorie, or do a mix of both 200, 250 calorie with physical exercise and 250 calorie of deficit. And then over the course of a week, then you achieve your one pound. Um, so then you can start thinking so if i if one pound a week is a, something realistic um and i want to lose 10 pounds that's like 10 weeks so two months and a half so if you was if you were thinking i'm gonna lose 10 pounds in a month i don't think that's really realistic and you're setting yourself up for failure and and then i don't want to see you beating yourself anymore my motto is make it a lifestyle for me um, having gone through so many cycle of accident and pain i realized really early on into my youth that exercise was essential it's like brushing my teeth or eating good food um, to make sure that my body was not in pain and that i would be strong and healthy and not suffer from my injuries um, so I need you to start realizing how essential exercise is and you make it a lifestyle as well. So it's not just like a fad. So start considering what are your expectations here and your goals and share them with me. I would love to hear you and to know more about what are your goals and then help you achieve them if you need help. Talk to you soon.